I've been very fortunate to dive in most oceans around the world. And still to this day, my favorite dives are at night. During the day, you see everything. But at night, you are forced to witness only what is in front of your light beam. It's like you're entering into a completely new world. The octopus come out to hunt. The moray eels are cruising across the reef. It's like you're flying through a galaxy and the stars are all the little critters flashing in front of your light. The one thing I've always really wanted to try is biofluorescent imaging. A good friend of mine, Dr. Vince Parabone, is a world authority in biofluorescent imaging and gave me a custom set of blue lights that we could use on the coral reefs. I was very excited to use blue lights in a form of art. In regular sunlight, the deeper you dive, the bluer corals will appear. Any deeper than a few meters and longer wavelengths of light, such as red, orange, and yellow, are quickly absorbed in the water column. Blue fluorescent lights when shined on certain corals or some animals, the protein re-emits a fluorescent pigment as biofluorescence, glowing a bright neon color. As I'm watching this biofluorescent light show of psychedelic colors on the bottom of the sea, it reminded me of growing up and watching the aurora borealis dance across the night sky. Something like a flounder during the day is brown, gray, so ordinary. But to see these fluorescent lights, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. What I really love is I can now take all of these visuals and send these back to Vince and have him analyze them from a scientific point of view. Perhaps there's new discoveries. Perhaps we have just delved into a world that people have not seen before. And these are the collaborations that allow all of us to grow when we combine art, science, and conservation. <laughs>